Fantastic morning, everybody. It's Leo Robles here. A great day. It's Monday, and today is the 7th, I believe, right? Or the 8th. Actually, I did this yesterday. So that's why it says the 7th right there. Regardless of the fact, you guys know it's the 8th today. Well, congratulations. You made it to Monday. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your time. And I'm going to go straight into the presentation, um, our weekly power up and market update. So the intention as every week is to empower you to be inspired and to and resourceful to be the greatest benefit to everyone, right? And these words, I mean, I, I really put a lot of thought before I created this intention because I really wanted to, like, you know, give you access to your own inspiration within yourself, right? I believe that you could listen to someone else and if you're inspired temporarily or you're motivated temporarily, then motivation will eventually just phase out. The point of inspiration is that the flame gets in, lit up within yourself and then that flame continues to be lit because the inspiration is coming from within yourself. It's not something that I'm saying that's gonna motivate you to do better because you're powerful. You already have everything within you to be powerful, to make, make anything you want a reality. And resourceful, right? Because if you're resourceful, you can be the greatest benefit to your customers. If you have the, the, the greatest information possible, then you're gonna be inspired to share and collaborate and empower your customers. So that's the intention. I just wanted to break that down and I wanted to spend a little bit more time there. And the topic that I wanna talk about today is being passionate is a way to your ultimate success and i and i believe this to be true and if you guys know me a little bit you guys understand that i'm immensely passionate and i'm immensely passionate about a lot of things and i'm immensely passionate about whatever it is that i am passionate about in the given moment and i am just passionate at my core and when i have an idea when i have a new um, strategy or an advertisement or a marketing campaign or you know, something that comes to me, I literally allow that idea to take complete hold of me. And I am, I'm just extremely passionate. I remember when, you know, I was talking about, um, I, you know, I got, a, I had awareness around sodium, for example, in my life. And I remember that I did research and I started to measure every single thing. So I was going to Chipotle and I was measuring like, oh my God, how much does that have sodium? And then I went to Waba Grill and I determined that the little sauce had like a thousand milligrams of sodium. And then I started to look at every single thing that I was eating and I just, I just realized that I was consuming massive amounts of sodium. And I was like, and I was telling everybody, I'm like, everybody's consuming a massive amount of sodium. Nobody really knows. So then I started to, you know, create videos. I started to tell every single person about it. And I mean, every person I talked to knew about sodium for like two weeks because I am very passionate. I, when, I, when I get an idea and I, and I get a new thing for me, I will immensely share it, you know, and I will go over the top because that's who I am. So how can we, how can we um, use that to be successful? Well, number one, you really got to find your passion with what you're doing here in real estate, right? If we're, talk, we're talking about doing more sales, if you're talking about increasing your production, if we're talking about working with more buyers and more sellers, you have to be extremely passionate about your product. So if you're not passionate about real estate, then you're not going to sell it. You're not going to sell it at a high level, at least, you know, you could sell a little bit here and there because you might get a, a client that just kind of lands in your lap because of someone that you knew. But if you want to have a sustainable, duplicatable business, then you need to have passion about what you are doing. And the, re the way that I found passion is by knowing my product, right? Knowing my product and knowing all facets of my product because knowing the financing part of the business is extremely powerful for me. I mean, I believe that it would be really, really essential. And if you also look at, um, you know, the majority of realtors, they don't understand their financing. They always pivot to the, to the lender. And yes, you should pivot to the lender to do the financing, but at the same time, you want to know what kind of programs are out there so you can educate your customers and you can be passionate about yourself. If you're having a conversation with someone and they say something about 
buying a property and they're talking about their scenario. You could easily say, hey, you got this program and this program and this program and you know what, based on your information, this program is gonna be the best for you. And that's gonna give you the passion to speak confidently about what it is that you're selling because if you're not passionate about it, how are you supposed to talk to somebody? If somebody talks about a scenario and you say, oh, that's great, you know, that, that's, that's really good. Um, yeah, thanks for sharing. Um, you know what, I think that you should talk to my lender. Um, when, when do you have time? Let me, let me actually set up an appointment with my lender. Um, or, oh, I text you. Okay, I'll text you about it. Tell me if you, I mean, honestly, if you were being, being in, in, you walked in an open house and somebody's talking to you about connecting with the lender, you're not going to be motivated. If you walk into my open house and I tell you like, hey, what's up? How you doing? Da, 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 da. I have a conversation with you and all of a sudden you share with your scenario and I say, you know what? Based on the information you're sharing with me, man, the good news is that you qualify for um, FHA financing and you also have an option to qualify for down payment assistance, which will help you to save 3% for your down payment and all you would need is a half a percent down. So for example, this house that we're standing in, 450,000, your down payment would be approximately $2,000 and your monthly payments would be approximately this. And if I come with passion and conviction like that, then I talk to my customer like that, guess what? That customer is gonna wanna work with me way more than the previous guy because or gal because they don't know about their product. You gotta be passionate about it. And you also have to be passionate about the house that you're selling and about the market. And how are you going to be passionate about it is by knowing, which is why I'm giving you guys information on a weekly basis because that's exactly what I did. When I am focusing on production, I have to know how many properties are active, how many are in pending, pending status, how many closed the last week, what is the average price point, how many proper, like how long are they taking on the market. This information you need to know so you could be passionate, right? And once you're aware of, your, of your, all of the different facets about the business, then you can bring that passion forth with your customers and therefore it could increase your sales and your customers are going to love you and be going to have raving fans, which is going to give you, guess what? More referrals, right? So being passionate is your way to ultimate success. I assure you of this. So the next thing that I want to talk about, your weekly market update. So this is what happened in one week. And this is the four counties, Los Angeles, San Bernardino, Orange County, Riverside County, LA, we got over 10,000 homes available for you to sell. San Bernardino County, we got 3,988. Orange County, we got 5,038. Riverside County, we got 6,010 homes available. That is over 20,000 properties available for your customers right now that you could sell. And my question is this, can you sell at least one house this week? Absolutely. You could at least do that because you have a ton of homes and a ton of inventory out there that are ready for you to get an escrow. Let's talk about what actually went in escrow. Pending. We got 6,610 homes in LA. We got 3,824 in San Bernardino. We got 2,917 in Orange. And we got 5,130 homes in Riverside County. That's a lot of homes in escrow. That's over 15,000 properties in escrow under contract that are ready to close. That means a lot of people are going to get paid. So don't ever catch yourself thinking, is the market okay? Pivot to the numbers. Look at reality. Find out what's actually happening and look at the numbers because if you look at the numbers, you will get the passion to sell and you will get the passion to inspire other people to move, right? So what actually closed in one week? And this is one week. 720 homes closed in L.A., 330 homes closed in San Bernardino, 345 closed in Orange County, 480 closed in Riverside County. And look at the volume, 664 million in LA, 125 million in San Bernardino, 347 million in Orange County, and 234 million in Riverside. That's a lot of volume. That's over a billion in just these four counties. So again, is it possible to sell real estate in today's market? Absolutely. How many do you want? That's the question you got to ask yourself. In the next slide here, you will see San Diego County because we have agents that are coming in San Diego. So guess what? I'm doing a market update for you here as well. We got 4,602 homes available for you to sell. We got 4,594 in escrow and under contract. And last week, 491 homes closed 
and 369 million closed in one week. That's outstanding. I don't know about you guys, but seeing numbers like that inspire me. I start to get ideas and I'm like, how can I serve more customers, right? Let's also talk about what happened in expires because this is another market that you could attack and you can go after. These customers need your help. They hired somebody and they failed to sell their property. So guess what? This is an opportunity for you to go out there and sell and help these customers to sell their property. 557 expired last week. That's a lot of opportunities. Just get one of those right there, right? Let's look at foreclosures. What happened in the foreclosure market? Well, all the numbers are down in every county. 1,274 in Riverside, 1,106 in San Bernardino, 3,145 in LA, 866 in Orange County, and these are all down for the county, and these are pre-foreclosure status, right? What actually sold at auction was very little, right? We only had one sell in auction in uh, April, um, and actually that, that's supposed to be May, uh, and another one in uh, May in San Bernardino, nine in Los Angeles, and two in Orange County. That's actually what sold. So a lot of the properties that are in pre-foreclosure or in auction status are postponing. So that's a good sign, but there's still customers out there that need your help. These are a lot of families right here that need an advisor to come to them and help them with options, right? What kind of options do these owners have? Get educated about that so you can go and speak to them and talk about, you know, is there a modification available? Is there some sort of reforbearance? What is available for them? Educate yourself so you can educate your customer. So how many properties are actively in an auction status for May? So we got 228 in Riverside, 123 in San Bernardino, 538 in Los Angeles, and we got 150 in Orange County. These are scheduled to sell in auction. So look at those numbers. Make sure that you guys are looking at those numbers, and I will make sure that I keep you guys up to date with what's going on. What I've seen on a week-to-week -week basis is that all of these are getting postponed. That's a good sign, but pay attention because those will eventually come back. These owners are going to need solutions, so let's help these owners to get out of foreclosure. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is EXP, EXP numbers, right? Our stock is on fire, 1166 a share. It's actually, um, even though it says down, it's up from last week. So, you know, I'm doing this on a weekly basis, right? So if you really want to look at the stock, Google EXPI, you can see what happened in the last five to 10 years. Our stock is on fire. Also, agent count. Actually, I just, um, I need to update my slide as well. I have 29,400, but it's not. It's over 30,000. So we're officially at over 30,000 agents. And um, that's awesome news. And we have 3,672 agents in California. That number is accurate because I just did that yesterday. Um, it's just really exciting what's happening with our company. The company is growing at such a rapid rate. I mean, we have over 70 people that are joining our company every single day. And it's because we have the most immense value proposition for agents, period. We partner with our agents. Our agents are owners here at eXp. We're not just an agent working for a brokerage. The brokerage and franchise model is gone. It's going away. eXp Realty is the future. And um, obviously you guys know that because you guys are here. And if you're not, make sure you get plugged in and learn. Learn for yourself. The next slide here, I'm going to talk about interest rates. Interest rates are also historic lows. I'm putting still 3 3 3.5%. That's what the, what the average is. You know, if you look at different programs. But um, you can get as low as 2.7%, 2.6% right now. So if you have customers, reach out to them. Let them know, hey, right now is a good time for you to refi. Come from contribution. And because you, you help them to do a refinance by plugging them up with one of your lenders, they're going to be super happy. And guess what? That customer is going to refer you people. I want you to make it a commitment to really say to yourself, you know what? How many customers can your customers re like refer you, right? Make it a goal to have each one of your clients refer you 10 clients. Who would you have to be? How often would you have to connect with them? How awesome would you have to be with them? You would have to stay in touch, obviously. But if you looked at all of your past clients and you got 10 referrals from each one of them, that's big. I don't know about you, but that's big. And that's, that's obviously not looking outside of just the people that you know, right? So really focus on that market. 
And again, if you want to uh, set up a, a calendar, a time with me for coaching or for, um, you know, if you have an agent that you want me to talk to, one of the agent partners or something, go ahead and use my living calendar on Calendly. And it is on my link tree. You can just uh, go ahead and click on it, set the appointment, and automatically it is integrated into my calendar. So you don't even have to tell me, hey, Leo, did you get it? Because automatically, when you set up an appointment with me, it's automatically integrated in my calendar. And the time that you set it up, I'm going to show up on the computer. Or if you set up a phone conversation, we'll set up a phone conversation. Regardless, you can go ahead and set it up there. My calendar is up to date to the second. The next thing here is the upcoming events, uh, what's going on this week. So obviously here we're in the weekly market update. We have breath work um, today at, <clears throat> sorry about that. We have breath work at, at today at 10 o'clock and it's going to be super powerful. Um, and if you need information for that, just go ahead and let me know. I'll send you over the Zoom link. We also have a revenue share mastermind at 11 o'clock on Wednesday. And this is designed for you to attract agents if you desire to. And on Friday, uh, we also have an introduction to EXP just like every single Friday. So if you have anybody in your life that wants to learn about EXP, go ahead and send, send them there and I will make sure to deliver an amazing presentation for them to get inspired, to move forward with you and you can grow your organization. Built for this is also back this Saturday. We're gonna have a show built for this, Facebook Live. I'll go ahead and share it on my wall. And this, is, this calendar is also fully integrated on my link tree if you want to look at it. So what will you create this week? How many listings are you going to sign? How many open escrows? How many closings? How many agents are you going to refer? Make sure you make a specific goal for each one of these. That way you can have a clear vision of what you are going to create. If you don't have a clear vision and a, and a clear number, for each one of these, you're not gonna get there, right? And this is again gonna get you passion because if you don't know where you're going, it's gonna be really, really like, it's, it's, you're not gonna be motivated. It's kinda like when you're going on a trip and when you're going on this trip and you don't know where you're going, it just seems like it's forever. But once you know where you're going, it's like, oh yeah, I got this. Like I know where I'm going, I know that I'm gonna see this, I'm gonna see that, I'm gonna see this, I'm gonna see that. You automatically know where you're going. So make sure you write the goal down and make it from, um, you know, what do you think is possible for yourself? Do not make it, do not like base it on your limitations on, you know, whatever you did last week. Create a new goal and don't worry about how. The next thing here is who I am is the possibility of being passionate and grateful. Those are gonna be my two words. I'm gonna be passionate and grateful, passionate and grateful all week. Those are my two words. So make sure that you choose yourself two words that are going to empower you. And again, the possibility, it just means like passionate and grateful. So when I talk to my customers, I'm going to be passionate and grateful. When I talk to you guys, I'm going to be passionate and grateful. When I pick up the phone, I'm going to be passionate and grateful. When I walk down the street, I'm going to be passionate and grateful. When I watch TV, I'm going to be passionate and grateful. Whatever it is, passionate and grateful for me, right? So what are going to be the two words for you that you're going to choose as a possibility for this week, make sure you pick two powerful words. So your focus today, like every week is, create your day, make sure you plan it a day before, that way you know what you're doing, follow your plan, allow it to dictate your day, and also keep yourself in an empowering state because everything revolves around you. If you are excited, guess what? You are gonna be a magnet of abundance. So make sure that you're keeping yourself in an empowered state, Increase your conversations. Let's go big. Let's seriously go big. The market's going to blow up, guys. Everything's turning around. People are letting, you know, being let out once again. Everybody's on fire about buying properties. Everybody's going to go do whatever they, they wanted to do always, and they were on the fence. So now is the time for you to have conversations. Have an integrity around your commitments. Make sure that whatever you commit to, you bring integrity to it. And make sure that you're at least having 30 conversations a day. 30 conversations a day. I mean, if you're serious about growing your business and you're serious about serving customers, then have at least 30 conversations on a daily basis. Make sure you're also posting on social media at least twice. Let people know about some amazing inventory. You know, what kind of, what kind of um, products are out there? Interview a lender. Do something on social media so you can let people know that you're in the business and you're the go-to person. Digital door knocking, text blasts and campaigns on KB Core. Master that system. 
Don't make excuses on why you don't know how to use it. Reach out to me if you get stuck. I will teach you how to use it and also take the training that is in KV Core. That will blow up your business. I just had a conversation with the gal last week. I had a meeting with her because she was a little bit stuck. We had a brief meeting, made a difference, and now she's getting so many leads, she can't even handle them. Also, be empathetic and see how you can be a resource so your clients come from contributions and make sure you exercise, you do push-ups, you do jumping jacks, you stretch, you meditate for at least 10 minutes because that's exactly what I did this morning. I stretched, I meditated, I worked out, I got my blood flowing, I drank my healthy shake, I drank my water, and I haven't even drank my coffee. And I got this much energy because the, the enthusiasm and the inspiration is coming from my heart. And that's exactly what you want to light up. So that's going to basically be it for this week or that's this meeting today. Thank you so much for your time. Let's create an extraordinary week. Thank you.